big believer in giving people different games and drills to play on the range to make practice more like real golf. So you have to find ways to simulate pressure. Uh, I think there's three key components to the way that you practice if you want to make sure that it transfers out to the golf course. Number one, it has to be fun. And if it's not fun, I don't think that people are going to put the time in. Uh, number two, it has to be measurable. And number three, it has to simulate pressure or simulate real golf. So today, I've got a game set up where pretty much we're going to work on face angle. We're going to work on starting the ball online. So I've got two alignment sticks that are underneath pool noodles. Uh, the alignment sticks are readily available at the driving range. And I've got noodles uh, in my teaching room if you ever want to grab them. And I've got a seven iron and I've, I've got the noodles far enough apart to where I'm pretty sure I can make sure that I hit it in between there. So give yourself a number and this is totally scalable based off of your ability. Uh, maybe you want to work on hitting all seven irons. Maybe you want to hit seven iron, then you want to hit driver, uh, then you want to hit hybrid, then you want to hit wedge. Uh, and you could move the gate further apart or closer together. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, shouldn't be too easy. Uh, if it's too hard, you lose interest. If it's too easy, you lose interest. So kind of figure out what a good distance apart is for you and hit five shots, 10 shots, uh, and keep score. I'm gonna give it a try here. That was a good, so I could either move the noodles up further or I could move them closer together or I could move back. Uh, totally scalable. Uh, it's a great game to work to work on at the driving range. So I've got one of my favorite training aids here. It's called the Orange Whip. Uh, really good for tempo and it's really good for sequencing, moving your body in the right order. And it's awesome for finish position. So I have people swing this around and it's good. You start slow. It's really flexible. They've got some different sizes. So if you're somebody who historically starts down with a really strong upper body move this way, cuts across it, hits maybe a pull fade or pulls, uh, it's kind of hard to do that with this because it would just get out of control, it would start flopping all over the place. So I have people start small and in order to swing this properly, you need to start your downswing with your lower body, just like you see all good players do. You don't see a whole lot of good players starting their downswing this way. If you do that with the orange whip, it'll flex all over the place. Uh, I really like using it for finish position where you make a swing and try to make sure that that ball is really quiet at the end. So I have a lot of people who can't hold their finish. Maybe they've got to manipulate the club face uh, to get it online. So if they'd swing the orange whip, it would look like this into their finish position. And it would kind of look like an Arnold Palmer type finish where everything's moving all around. So I like having people hit this. Just make sure that the ball stays real quiet into your, into your follow through. 